even an ocean away, I will not be quiet. I will not sit down. I'm a nasty woman! 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 And welcome to the Women's March for Humanity, Women's March for Choices, Women's March for Everyone. This is for peace, this is for happiness. This is for a choice. So here we go guys, are you ready for a great day? We're gonna try and give you a glimpse of the march in Paris and then you can kind of go, you know, go on YouTube and see how the marches are across the globe and what. So the goal is to get out there, check out what's happening, try and get both sets of perspectives, the pros and the cons, and just try and just imagine what life is here for the day. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> we travel to be exposed to different cultures and different Mom. people. <laughs> I can't believe I'm smiling. You know, I'm doing this. <laughs> Differences is what make us all so special. And when we start to treat people Mom. differently because they're different, it's, it's just not okay. So today we're going to fight for what we believe in. Today we're going to make our voice heard. I don't care why you give me. Where's my son? Why are you here? Oh, because why wouldn't I be here? Why wouldn't you fight for your rights? I don't get it. Why aren't you here? I'm here because this guides to something like climate change, the planet. You've got we have to we have to do a little sign of saying something something is unacceptable. And if somebody says things and behaves in a certain way, you can't just take it lying down. You have to do something, no matter how small. And we want to express ourselves. Otherwise, you know, if we don't do anything, we feel powerless. So that's why we're here. Why they're why they're marching? Uh, because it's important. I think we're all marching for different reasons. They're marching because they're very political and they want a change. I'm marching because I grew up in Germany and I know how bad times can look, and I don't want it to happen again. And it kind of is on its way there, from what I see. So that's why I'm marching. But if you stand up and you show that you believe in something better, then maybe he'll take a notice, and maybe things won't be as bad as they might be. Consideramos que hay que salir a las calles para mostrar que no estamos, no nos vamos a quedar calladas. We're here from Dallas. Hi. We both live in Paris. We love Paris. Americans abroad are still Americans. They're still our laws. They still affect us. So we are here. What's happening here is just amazing. This is part party, part protest, part just one big sing along. And I got that's one thing you gotta love about Paris is that these guys really know how to throw a party. And this is just an amazing event. I'm really glad we're here. There's just a lot of unity, a lot of respect, and a lot of just commonality. No one's getting violent, there's no safety issues, and it's just a great time. Quickly, why are you marching? Oh my god. Um, 
start yeah, of course. I, yeah, it's an obvious question because we're all so desperate that that guy is now at the top of your government. And of course, it's a women issue, but only. And today we are a brass band from France, and we're playing with some brass band from Boston and New York, and, and we all want to say that we will keep being singing and fight for our rights, even though the monster is here. And also, there is Marine Le Pen waiting for us too. So. Uh, we're all on the same boat at the end of Yeah, the we are. Yeah. We're here from Maine. We're both from Maine. Yep. Um, traveling from different parts of France. And I think we're here to fight for women's rights, for LGBTQ rights. Fighting against a president, a president who is actively trying to undermine values that we hold dear. Yeah, so we're fighting for everyone today. <laughs> My fellow Mainers, see? Yeah. Mainers know how to fight for what they want. Yes, they sure do. do. We're, we're, we're doing a video of this and interviewing people okay. um, because this is why we travel, right? We travel because okay. we want our kids to experience different cultures and different people. Yeah. What's, you know, what's the big reason for you, why you're here? Because you know what, you know what they say about, it's not what you, you, you don't do, you know, you always regret what you don't do, right? And I could have stayed home in the warm and taken it easy, but I really wanted to be part of this because it, otherwise I would have regretted it. I, I, it was solidarity and, sh and, and just making one more person, like one more vote, you know? You know, everybody says, well, my vote doesn't count, doesn't matter if I show up today. It does. And I think we all have to take that personally, you know, it does matter. The thousands that are here, the thousands that are in London or in other parts of the world, will remind those who are going to be elected over the next few years, this is a political issue and we're not going to be quiet about it. So, so why are you guys here today? Um, we are actually running a women's centre at the refugee camp in Dunkirk. Essentially it is a safe space for women to be. But our centre was burnt down two weeks ago today. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So we're now trying to rebuild. Do you guys have a fundraising website? We do. Yes. Yes. Can you guys give it to us? We can put yes. in the comments down below. Youcaring.com forward slash refugee women's centre. Alright, we'll put that in the comments. The women's centre in Dunkirk. Sweet. Make sure you click down below, right? They can use the help. So we're here to choose peace, not not racism. We're here to choose love, not hate. Yes, absolutely. Oh, you're getting good at this, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm working on it. <laughs> to protest, to march. We are here for maybe you can hear our voices and hear that we are not weak women. We are nasty women and we are proud of it. <laughs> Do you think we can make a difference here? Yeah, sure. People make the difference in the streets. I mean, this is the street is ours. We make the difference by being on the street. They want us to shut up and we are gonna scream louder. But, I mean, you are French, you protest. There's something kind of awkward. You know. I don't know why. I don't know why, but we love protesting. <laughs> vive la France. Yeah, vive la France. Yeah, sometimes. <laughs> I'm touching the Eiffel Tower. Is that cheesy? Kiss it. But we but we finished. We met people from all walks of life, dozens of different countries. No one was vile. No one was inappropriate. Everyone was there fighting for equal rights, and 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 it truly was one of those experiences that I will never forget for the rest of my life. And I'm glad that we were able to be part of it, and I'm glad that we have a child that that's part of it. We're raising the next generation, right, of, of kids that will grow up knowing um, that everyone deserves equal rights. And, and the cool thing about it is that we're in France, the country where they pretty much invented the protest. Right. So, 
<laughs> so the cops were were just letting it happen. weren't trying to push people away. In fact, no one was out there trying to. I didn't see. I didn't. I saw. I saw no altercations, no fights, no no aggression, and nothing. And if you guys went to another protest, another march somewhere around the world, let us know. Let us know what you think. Did it go well? Did, was there any issues? Were there any uh, altercations? Was everyone nice to each other? Let us know because you know this is just one big sort of happy community here. So in the meantime, glad you're here. Hope you enjoyed it and uh, give us a thumbs up and yeah. subscribe because Thanks, we got a lot guys. more coming. And um, let's make out. It's France. <laughs> we're, we're right beside the Eiffel Tower. We got a kid here. <laughs> <laughs> Lar- is that weird, Largo? <laughs> <laughs>